My blade is yours. Hello and welcome back to Pack Your Wild Rift. I'm back with a new Master Yi video. I blend in the build I'm currently using, as always, and I'm still running Ignite on him, as I think it's the best summoner for Yi jungle. Since basically in a lot of fights you're just uh, fighting until death and don't try to escape on Yi. And Ignite is just uh, best to up your chances up your chances to win uh, another one, like get another kill or yeah, just kill someone faster. Offense is really the best defense on Yi, I would say. So we put another point in first spell as usual. And after clearing the whole bot side, I'm going for the blue buff. So I'll be on with double buff on the crab. It was a few seconds late here this game, so I won't be there on crab exactly on spawn. But if you start your clear in time, you will be uh, on the crab before it spawns. Oh, well, my dual lane got a kill. Get the crab now. This will be first level 4. And then I just uh, finish Gromp and Wolves. In most cases you wanna just full clear on Yi, unless you get like a fight on crap with the ignite. And this is a pretty uh, hard matchup with the Jax, he's really good against Yi. Zunra is also pretty good against him I would say. And Forgot who they had in the jungle. Oh yeah, it's Talon. Uh, Talon is not too bad, but uh, he's decent at, es at escaping from you. But Jax is really hard to deal with, and for matchups like this, Jax, the Ignite can be really useful to still be able to 1v1 him. So we do have a, a Karma solo lane. Not that helpful in the 2v1 here, but I'm still going for it here with the Ignite. Having decent damage, helps to slow him down. And Karma gets a nice knockback, so we get a kill on Jax. But I'm worried a bit that Karma won't be very useful later in the game. Like I saw people playing tank karma as support. Fine I guess, but playing tank karma on solo lane can really make you uh, make your team lack a lot of damage. So since my topside jungle is not respawned yet, we just uh, go for another reset after we clear bot side. And then our blue should be respawning. As well as the other camps, maybe we can also gank the Undra first, since we have ultimate ready. And she even walks into us. We dodge the knockback and get another kill on her, unfortunately. The Karma and Morgana took both of the kills. They've both been, would have been way better on Master Yi to get the kills. Just trying to get a, a first strike, like first spell bounce here. And then I started tanking first because I wanted to reset the turret aggro with my first spell, but I got hooked unfortunately before I could uh, use first spell again to reset the aggro. So we got one kill. But they killed all of us. Really not that good. They kind of forced me to dive there with uh, throwing the thrash in. But since I didn't even have the ultimate, I really shouldn't have even gone there. They probably didn't check if I have ult. So I might have baited them to go for a dive there. 
So as always I uh, go for the Rift Herald instead of Drake. I won't put down a ward here. And the Karma is not coming to help me. Which is uh, really bad. But we got the uh, Meditate for the Syndra ult. So we survived the fight. And we even got the Rift Herald somehow. Honestly don't know how I got the Herald there. But yeah, Meditate is really nice against stuff like Syndra ult. ult. All that stuff that does a lot of burst and you can see it coming. So we go right for Drake after, place the Herald in the mid lane. We get the turret plating. Meditating here to block the Talon damage, because I knew I couldn't really escape anyway. So we die here, but we got uh, both Drake and Herald managed to escape. Unfortunately, Talon also gets our blue buff. But yeah, we don't need it that much. Next, we go Nimbus. Which is really good on Yi, even after they nerfed it a bit. And now I'm just gonna uh, clear some more camps here. Golems are gone already. Karma got a turret there. We should really start split, split pushing now. Karma is not a good split pusher. Yeah, we will just uh, keep pushing there, solo lane. And I'm gonna try to help out my dual lane here. Chrome gets a nice engage, so we can uh, pick up the trash. We're exhausted, but uh, exhaust doesn't slow us, so we can still get a kill on Derry. And I just uh, finished the Grump. We have my game timers reset. More efficient. Now we also have the Quicksilver. In case we get stunned by the Jax or Syndra. Or even the Threshog. Definitely very useful this game. And I get uh, Quicksilver almost every game. Like even if they have only one stun. Or even if it's a knockup, like if you time your Quicksilver right, you can even prevent a knockup with it. Like the Vi ult or Nautilus ult. You press Quicksilver before it arrives uh, at you, and you won't get knocked up. I was just uh, trying to get one kill and get out. Took the damage from the Syndra ult again with my Meditate. But they do catch the Braum here. But at least we got a turret, so not too bad. This is turret is also just one auto attack. I'm getting out of here. Morgana doesn't uh, get a black shield in time. Dies from Oak. Pretty bad for us. There he goes way too deep here. And we can uh, keep fighting a bit with some Meditate. Get Thresh too. And one more attack on the Talon. But yeah, after that we're dead. And even the Syndra survives. Like, this is a really hard game. So that's why I thought it's a nice showcase. Not having the best team here. And how to deal with it. In uh, games like these, you really need to focus on getting ahead from farming. Even if that means letting your team die a few times. Like I'm going right back to farm my jungle here. And try to get uh, more item power spikes before I go for big fights. Like if I just uh, straight up went mid lane again and go for another fight. And 
We had a really high chance to fall behind here. Very flashes over the wall here, unfortunately, but we can still catch her. And yeah, I thought the uh, Talon would be on Drake too, but he's here. I do meditate a bit of damage, but it's uh, too late for that. I just didn't expect the Talon to be there on his blue buff when Drake is spawning. And yeah, it's like the Karma and the Morgana just gave me these early kills. Could have went uh, way better already. Might have been able to snowball harder, but they just uh, took both of these kills. And now the Morgana especially is doing nothing. So that makes it really hard. So I'm just going uh, straight back to get another camp. Looking to see if the uh, Syndra keeps pushing, he resets. Now Karma even starts farming my jungle. Oh yeah, they are making it really hard for me, for no reason. Like I'm their own condition. And the Karma just takes my cams, so it's really stupid. Here we do get stunned by the Jax, but Meditate will survive. We can't go for the dive on Zeri though. And now I'm just uh, pinging all of them to go for Baron. I do take the healing plants here because I need to tank it. Alistair just uh, shouldn't be here. <laughs> Instantly dies. I just need help from the uh, Morgana armor shields. And we will be able to pick this up. So, got the Baron here. I also almost have enough for Wits and Fortunately, the Morgana took the crap even. So, I can't pick my Wits and up out here already. Like, they are really just sabotaging me as hard as I can. But I just uh, clear these two more camps here, then I will have my wood sand. Not cool before, but yeah. then we get into another fight here. But I really want to get my wood sand first, so I'm pinging them away. And now I think I'm uh, getting the components for the shield bow. Also pretty decent on Yi, even if you have no other crit items, it still gives uh, 300 HP shield. Really useful. And yeah, of course it gives you more damage as well. So the Karma pinged me here, that she wants to wave, but that's a joke, that she's even taking my jungle camps. And I need the gold way more than a tank karma. So I'm just waiting again here for the right timing to go in. Meditating some damage from the Talon and I dodged the Jack stun. But unfortunately the Zeri is waiting in the bush. They got me, but I did uh, do enough for my team to do a follow-up. So we kill all of them here. Fortunately they will still have the Nexus shield. So I don't think we will be able to end it here. But yeah, I'm uh, happy we have this Callista. Also doing a pretty decent job. Honestly, the Braum is at least uh, tanking a bit. It has some CC. I think the Arma and Morgana are way more useful. Uh, useless. I mean, they're just healing themselves. So they get good stats. 
this sick armor. Building like full tank and building yourself, of course you can like prevent dying, but it's just not doing much in the fights I think. So yeah. I pressed the uh, ult a bit too early here because I was expecting the Zeri to walk into me. I did have vision. So I wasted my ult here and now I don't want to fight them. So uh, clearing some more camps. And I need to wait for my ultimate to be back up now. So I'm clearing their vision on Baron a bit. And looking if uh, the Jax keeps pushing. And he keeps going for me here. I think he also ulted and used his uh, block spell, so we just don't uh, keep fighting him since our team will be able to pick him up. Now I spam ping the mid lane because they are pushing it. And I need help there. And my ultimate will also be back up. So we probably can go for this fight. Get knocked back once, but yeah. Then we just uh, use the Quicksilver preemptively to not get hooked. He doesn't use it, use it though, and we dodge the hook. His first strike, then after. Now we just go straight for Baron again. Elon shouldn't be here in time. And even though we don't have Smite, we do have a Callista. So she secures the Baron. Now we might be able to end it, the Baron buff. So I blocked the damage from Talon again with my Meditate. I'm looking to uh, first strike, like uh, first spell the Syndra, which is dead already. So I just uh, focus on the Nexus, get another Meditate reset in, and we end the game. So, hope that was useful, seeing another close game on Yi and how I play it. And uh, just keep you updated what I think is the best build currently. Let's wait for the damage. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Mother always said, subscribe to Pacquiao, and if that's done, click the bell so you don't miss any videos.